The there return, it is. The return trip is uh, about to begin in a few minutes here. Mo, what's going on? I found the bus. You found the bus. And I have some crowd reactions. I saw a woman tell her kids that they are never coming to New York City ever again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tourists must really freak out. Like when they hear things, if you're from Oklahoma or somewhere, and, and you're going to New York, and all the friends tell you, hey, don't go there. You don't know what happens up there in New York. It's unbelievable. There are no morals or scruples or nothing. And it's, oh, that's just a rumor. No one ever real. It's nice. It's New York City. And then they come there and see a busload of naked teen girls on the street. Naked teen girls on the Teen Voyeur bus today. Run away. Somewhere around uh, Wall Street, and they're going to make their way to 6th Avenue and get back uptown. Uh, Bobby, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Bobby. It's my birthday, man. Thank you so much. Happy birthday. Oh, God almighty. An early Christmas present from Opie and Anthony to you. You guys are the best. You guys are God, I tell you. All right, Bob. I've never seen more boobs than, than ever since I've been listening to you nice. guys. Thank you. Take it easy, guys. All right. Rubber chest from Jersey. Uh, with a reference, movie reference, the bus is going to look like the bus at the end of Clint Eastwood's movie, The Gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> nice reference. That's classic. <laughs> Dave, what's up, man? Hey, I wanted to thank you guys. It's also my birthday, and as Bob knows, nothing cool has ever happened on November the 30th. But from now on, when I pick up a newspaper on November the 30th, I can read, This date in history, ON18 Voyeur Bus Conquers Broadway. Nice. Yeah. I love it. Thank you guys very much. All right, man. See you. Bye. Cool. <laughs> We're going to the Jet Game Sunday? Yeah. I think the Voyeur bus is finally leaving town, unfortunately. Yeah. That would be one hell of a tailgate party. Imagine the tailgate party with the Voyeur bus, girls, a few beers. <laughs> yeah. We are going to be tailgating at the Giant Stadium for the Jets-Colts game this Sunday. The whole crew is going to be there. We're just going to uh, enter in a huge vehicle just to hang out. Hmm. We're going to be hanging with Sobe. Uh, they got, what, a, a new drink? Adrenaline drink to give away? All right. I wonder if any of the girls can make it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we can make that happen. <laughs> you know what? I, oh, boy. We need to check in with the Boyer bus one more time before we take a break to see where they are. I'll go to uh, a few more reporters on the scene as we wait for the Boyer bus to check in. Mark, what's up? Hey, I'm in. You know, uh, you guys are from Long Island, so you guys would know what I'm talking about. You know those uh, fire engines that drive around with Santa Claus on top throwing candy canes out? Now, of course. So, yeah, this is exactly just like that. <laughs> you, guys, you guys rule uh, syndication when... Uh, the boy bus makes it to Jets game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sam, he's, he's stuttering like everybody today. Uh, come on, put him on hold. We got mm. someone calling from the Voyeur bus, but uh, come on, uh, we know who they are. Just put him on hold. Uh, someone said they got screwed when the bus went down Fifth instead of uh, uh, Broadway. But it's coming back up Sixth. Yes. So so get on Sixth Avenue, and right. and you'll see it. All right, let's go back to Rick, who's on the Teen Voyeur bus. Rick, what's up? Hey guys, hey. as you can tell, Mark is uh, at it. Okay. He's 50 calibering everybody who's watching the bus. So right now I've got uh, Drew Barrymore, also known as Tisha, from uh, the Voyeur bus. Yeah, this girl looks pretty much like uh, Drew Barrymore. Hey, Tisha, what's up? I'm, I'm having lots of fun. Yeah, cool. Did you did you expect a crowd like this today? No, I did not. This is amazing. Right on, man. Thanks for helping us out today. Have you been showering or anything on the bus? Yes, actually, my pants are wet right now. <laughs> oh. I just got out of the shower. Oh, you got out of the shower? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. And there's a nice... Me and uh, Knife Girl. Me and Knife Girl took a shower together. Oh, very good. Thank you for that. Uh, nice crowd outside the bus? Yes. They're wow. loving us. Well, of course. Naked <laughs> teens. What else could we say? <laughs> Even the cops love us. All right. Well, Tisha, thanks for the help, all right? Okay, thank you. All right. Hey, oh, she doesn't know where we are. I'm sorry. Do you know where the bus is? I have no idea where we are. On the street. Uh, on New York? <laughs> <laughs> New York. Yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, Opie, comic book rich, checking in. Uh, oh, God, no, please don't tailgate the Jets game this weekend. I don't want Opie within 100 miles of Giant Stadium. The Jets really need this win badly. <laughs> <laughs> Good point, because I'm starting to believe that, too. Yeah. I was supposed to go to the uh, the Islander Devil game Sunday, but I figured mm -hmm. I'd stay away from the Coliseum, give the Islanders a win over there. Oh, yeah, that, <laughs> that'll work. Believe me, you went to uh, one or two of their games. They've lost quite a few more than that. No, I've gone to four games at the Coliseum. They lost every single one. I haven't seen a home win yet. What are we what are we doing talking about sports? Well, I'm waiting for Rick to check in again. Here he is. Maggie the Mad Dog showing a fan. I, what, what, what the hell are we doing, Maggie? <laughs> they got nude girls on a teen girls on a bus. How long can we talk about my Tina? <laughs> we, we're talking about the Messina deal with the Yankees, and, and they got nude girls. I give up. 
Back it up. Screw it. Call my agent. I want to quit. I can't talk about sports anymore. What are we going to talk about? His contract. Fantastic. Yeah, 87 million, six year deal. Where are the boobs? <laughs> <laughs> well, Rick says the teen boy bus is right next to the bull on uh, Wall Street. Rick, what's up? Yeah, guys, we just went past uh, we just went past the bull. No, 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 don't make it right here. Go straight. Oh, oh, Mark, did you say right on Greenwich? Okay. <laughs> Mark leading the way. Oh, right. is blocking our, our turn. Go straight. We're on we're on Battery Park Place and the corner of Greenwich Street. Yeah. Everybody waiting for a bus. They're walking up to this one, thinking they're going to get on it. <laughs> and now look at their faces. The guys are smiling. The women are horrified. That is funny. Like pulling the voyeur bus up to a bus stop where people are waiting for the bus. <laughs> Boy, I've never seen this bus before. This rule. <laughs> All right, now uh, Rick, you're trying to make your way to Sixth Avenue. Yeah, we're we're, we're going to pick up. I guess it's it is Church Street, and then uh, make our way up Sixth. Everyone um, wave. Walk by and did the uh, the sign of the cross. Rick, everyone wave at Nobu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 all right, Rick, we got to take a break. All right. You got it, guys. I'll check in a little bit. All right, thank you. Nice. Whew. They got to get back to uh, this location here at 57th. Yeah. And uh, 7th Avenue before 7 o'clock. We'll greet the bus out there once it uh, comes back. What are the odds, Ben, of them getting back by 7? They should make, they should make it back. They're going to yeah. hit a little traffic on 6th Avenue, you know, by the uh, by the tunnel. But, you know, it'll be all right. Yeah, I think they'll make it. They should make it, no problem. And right. Mark's navigating, so I have full confidence in Mark. <laughs> oh, boy. All Wait right. a minute, we got to make a turn. i got to pick up some port. This guy I know has got some great AK-47. So if you want to see naked teens, Anthony, 6th yeah. Avenue, all the way back up to 57th. It's going to take a while, but uh, in the parade route for us, okay? Uh, Rich, what's going on? Uh, I just, just, uh, I'm parked outside of, uh, 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 just got to get off of Day Street on Church. Yeah. I'm, I'm hanging out on the way for my boss. He's getting fitted for a tuxedo. Yeah. I see a flock of people running towards a bus. I get out of I get out of the car myself. Run across the street. I see, oh my God, five six girls on the bus, naked, beautiful, with their with their naked chest pressed up against the windows. Hysterical. <laughs> people are cheering, going nuts. <laughs> you guys, you guys are totally the best. All right, Rich. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. All right. Enjoy. Hey, who wants to win you two tickets? <laughs> <laughs> And hey, let's take a break, okay? Irving Plaza. It's the, it's the Teen Boyer bus. Uh, it's going to make its way up to uh, up uh, to 57th. Yeah. Along 6th Avenue. And we'll be back. It's 1027. Oh, this says it all. Hello. Hello. Yes. Is, who am I call is this L.B. and Anthony? Uh, yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, we're calling. This is Nathan Lane calling from the Lyceum. Hi, Evan. Is this the L open? Are you guys responsible for the bus? Wait, is this really the Nathan Lane? I'm honored that you know me, sir. Yes, this is Nathan Lane. <laughs> the, the actor, Nathan Broadway, Lane. yes. Starring the, as the man who came to dinner, yes. It's Nathan Lane. Are you kidding? You, you uh, Do you listen to this program? No, not usually. A cabbie <laughs> told me that some kooks on the radio are responsible for this bus that's causing traffic. <laughs> yes, we would uh, have to be responsible for that, sir. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, we've never had anything like this on Broadway. It is. <laughs> it is uh, young. You never, you never announced auditions, for God's sake. Young nude girls. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I'm on my way to dinner. We said Absolutely girls. Absolutely wonderful. Nathan. Can't thank you enough. It's been an enjoyable and unusual ride home. Well, thank you, Nathan. Loved, it be, loved, uh, you, loved you in Birdcage. Absolutely. Take care, gentlemen. All right. Bye. Bye. -bye. Nathan Lane, everyone. <laughs> That'd have actually been Nathan Lane. I don't know. <laughs> it sounded like him. Sounded like him a little bit, right? <laughs> I don't think the real Nathan Lane would be that excited about uh, teen girls. <laughs> uh, Annie, horny, uh, Anthony, sorry. Yes. Uh, horny goat weed. Who the hell needs horny goat weed today? No, no. But if you can't, uh, if you can't see the voyeur bus full of teens, you might need the horny goat weed. Horny goat weed. Uh, it's an herb. It's based on the latest scientific research into sexual performance, and it enhances libido and sexual performance in men and women. It's called horny goat weed. There it is. It's a high-speed stimulant for life and love in the fast lane. All natural. And men and women can use this. It's horny goat weed. It, it boosts your sex life. If you're lagging a little, get the horny goat weed. Available at GNC, the Vitamin Shop, Great Earth Vitamins, and other fine health food stores throughout the tri-state area. Call them up, 1-800-899-2749, or visit PinnacleBody.com on the web. For horny 
Goat Weed. It's the yes. O.A. Show. It's WNEW. Let's go right back into show mode, Anthony.